good afternoon, everybody. My name is Nicholas Stepman. I'm the uh, social media and marketing specialist for the uh, West Bend Theater Company. I'm glad, so glad you can join us here today. We've got a special presentation for you. We're going to kind of talk about Christmas Carol 2020. If you saw last week that we announced that we were going to be doing that virtually. Um, and now we're probably thinking, oh, you might have some questions for us. So hopefully we'll get some of those answered today. So uh, joining me is Nancy Storrs, president of the West Bend Theater Company, and Alan Jordan, who is going to be the director uh, for this year's production. So um, at first, Alan, I guess the question, well, the first question I have for you is just um, how excited are you about uh, getting um, going with um, Christmas Carol this year, uh, albeit in a, kind of a new format than what we've done in the past? I'm really excited. I think this is going to be a, a very interesting year for Christmas Carol, something that we're going to remember for many, many years. And Nancy, how about you? I know this has uh, been a, lot, a number of months project in trying to understand um, how to put on live video or um, theater in this uh, age of COVID. So how are you excited about uh, getting the chance to carry on the West Bend tradition of the staging our Christmas Carol. Yeah, this has really been um, a challenge to be be sure. Um, we're all learning about the world of Zoom and GoToMeeting and Google Meet. And we found that those tools are really useful for us. And um, they provide a way to keep people safe. And I'd venture that that's probably the biggest concern that anyone has. How are we able to do theater and be able to keep our audiences and our actors safe. And that, that really starts with the auditions of A Christmas Carol. So maybe Al, talk to us a little bit about the auditions that we're gonna be doing. Well, the auditions are actually, they've already started. Uh, for those who have been on our website or perhaps seen a couple of social media posts, auditions for Christmas Carol are ongoing right now. We've already received some auditions. What we're looking at is, is we're doing uh, video auditions and it's actually a very simple format to do these auditions. All we need to do is, well, all we need to do, we need to watch, but all that needs to be done by our uh, potential actors is to have a phone, to memorize a paragraph or two, to record themselves delivering that, and then also to sing one verse of God rest ye merry gentlemen, and then submit that to us by email where I can review it with perhaps some other of the uh, production team, and we will make our decisions early September. Wow, well, oh. that's kind of interesting and new. Um, are you gonna have callbacks? Oh yes, now the callbacks are gonna be something that we'll do after we get, um, you know, the, the interested actors, but the callbacks, we may not be doing this in person. We might actually be doing like a Zoom meeting for the callbacks. Just depends on the character and the situation. The, the important thing is, is we don't need to be right in the same room, right in someone's, you know, social space. In this day and age, unless we absolutely have to, and, and then there are ways to limit that, but uh, we've talked about this, Nancy, so that was a fair question, but we've talked about it. How do we make this happen when people are nervous about being face-to-face? -face? Yeah, and, absolutely. Uh, and we we're this. gonna keep people safe. Yeah, absolutely. Um, some other things that we've done as a company, we have purchased a digital thermometer so that we can, when we get to the point of doing personal rehearsals, we're going to be keeping the group size down to 10 or less. Mm -hmm. But when we do that, we want to make sure that the people who are coming to rehearsals are healthy. And so what we're seeing is a means that we've put in place to protect people as they come in the door, make sure the temperatures are where they should be, making sure that people haven't been exposed to any other contacts. So everything that we're doing is toward keeping people safe in this time of COVID, but still making sure that we can provide entertainment. And mm -hmm. that's where we're doing something pretty different this year. Um, Nick, can you talk about that a little? 
Yeah, hey, that's one thing we definitely announced last week was the opportunity to offer Christmas Carol as a video on demand option this year. Um, obviously, the preference is for all of us to be able to sit in the nice confines of the Masonic Lodge and the Masonic Center in West Bend and really take in that intimate atmosphere, but in the spirits of uh, the COVID-19 pandemic and just the uncertainty of how things are gonna play out, let alone uh, a week from now compared to three months from now, or even four months now, which would be about the time we would be opening for Christmas Carol. It's just so hard to predict. So I think doing it this way now is a, for one, it gives us the chance to let people know we do have a full intention to do the show. Um, so therefore, we want to encourage any um, and all actors who have experience or not or don't even have experience to get to get an audition in, and then we'll try and put something together for a great presentation uh, that will be uh, assisted by John Elke for the West Bank Community Television. Uh, he's going to help us with that video production. Uh, extremely talented. Uh, individual in terms of video and, and editing and producing. So we're excited about his partnership and in helping us get that going. Um, but it also gives us a little flexibility in case we come into a point where maybe come around Thanksgiving, the COVID pandemic is under control and we might be permitted to allow people in the audience. So I think just announcing it now and letting people know this is what we're doing and this is how we're going to do it. I think at least hopefully it gets the buzz going. So I'm excited about what we can do and, and the opportunities we have. And uh, really looking forward to seeing what kind of auditions can come in um, for this unique presentation of A Christmas Carol. Alan, what are you going to be looking for um, with regard to those audition tapes? Um, obviously, it's something new for all of us. We're, none of us are going to be perfect on these videos. Mm -hmm. We're just looking for people to be able to submit things. But when you evaluate them as a director of A Christmas Carol, what kind of things are you looking for from those actors? Is it a certain spark in the eyes or um, <laughs> how many dimples does Tiny Tim have to have? Tell us what you're, you're thinking that you're, you're gonna be keeping your eyes open for. Well, I'm glad you asked that. I think the biggest thing I look for as a director is someone who's not afraid to take chances. I think that uh, a, a good director doesn't need to pull somebody, they need to pull them back. And that's completely different because uh, when you have to pull somebody out of their shell, mm, that's not so fun. But if you say to somebody, hey, I really like your energy and enthusiasm, you're over the top, but maybe a little too much, that's easier to work with. And so having people who are willing to take chances is important. Uh, but also, you know, yes, we're looking for a spark. We're looking for somebody who's, you know, who's, who's interesting that when they start talking, they're going to engage the, the audience or the viewer in this case, who want to watch just a little bit more. And the whole thing about the whole thing about TV and movie and especially theater is suspending disbelief. You want to suspend the fact that you are watching either online or you're watching in person. You want them to forget that. You want them to be like, hey, I just, I'm kind of watching something happen to me or next to me and it's really intriguing. And you wanna forget that we're living in the year 2020, maybe this year a little bit more than most. And you wanna remember, and you wanna be in that year where the Christmas Carol actually happened. So that's England. Mm -hmm. um, so what does that mean in terms of accents? Are you hoping for that or maybe well, not would, so much? It would be nice having an accent that was uh, genuine for, for the, uh, for the English accent. Um, I suppose if somebody was very, very good with Scottish, we might let them get by with it. But I suspect we should not go with the Midwestern or Sheboygan accent for this. So yes, uh, please feel free to give me your best English accent. That would be very helpful. But it's not required, right? It is not because there are ways that we can work on it as we go through this too. That's we nice. want diction. We want engagement. We want confidence and poise. 
all the things that actors have, but for those people who might be interested in taking a chance who haven't done it before, that's what we'd be looking for. Um, Nick, can you tell us about um, what we have posted already on the website? Would you like me to do it with a British accent or just regular Wisconsin accent? Oh, very well. Go ahead and do your best Brit. <laughs> I'm proof that you can learn a little bit of the accents uh, through a number of videos. Um, what was it about? I spent like eight hours watching British accent videos. So it can be done. Um, but as far as what we've got posted uh, on our website, we have all sorts of information about the procedures for um uh, for auditioning, such as the monologues that are available for people to read and memorize and then recite uh, for their audition. Uh, we've also got um, the information on how to uh, submit that uh, video as well. That is all on our website at www.wbtheaterreco.com. Uh, we have information on our web or our social media, uh, Facebook, Twitter, link. Um, Instagram. So we've got a lot of information out there and we feel like we've got it in a lot of places. Um, but the best place to get really all the information that you need is on our website again with the monologues. Um, there are also the sheet music for uh, God Rest You Merry Gentlemen, uh, which is actually a very simple song to, to learn. Um, even I learned it. So uh, that means anybody can do it. Uh, but that's, that's a great place to start is on our website that has all the information you need again about how to submit, what we're looking for. Uh, and, and there's also a few tutorials on how to do um, a video audition uh, for those that may not be either confident or have a little questions on what they should do in terms of presentation. So. Sounds good. Um, Alan, tell us about um, when people submit those auditions you will be reviewing the original video submittals and then probably sharing that with some of the other members, the production team. And then what? Um, what can people expect? Well, I think the first thing that they should expect is when I get a video that I've watched, I will acknowledge that I've seen the video because one of the questions is always, I wonder if they saw it. And so just the basics. I've got your video, I've watched it, thank you. Everyone will get that from me. Um, nice. Well, that lets everybody know where things are at and um, where they're at in the process. Well, um, do, do we have a yeah. deadline then as far as, or a date of callbacks that people can anticipate hearing from you before then? We do have a deadline and I'm gonna ask Nick to help me with that deadline date. What date was that, Nick? September 7th. Uh, September remember, 7th. Which I remember serves it right. It's Labor Day. So, Labor Day. Mm -hmm. um, that gives us right now less than less than a month. Uh, mm -hmm. So certainly we encourage people to um, get those uh, auditions in. Uh, the sooner the better. Mm -hmm. uh, that way it makes it a little easier for us in terms of planning um, and understanding who we've got for a cast um, potential. Um, so as soon as you can get that information to us, that would be fantastic. That way we're also not overloading uh, Alan with 30, 35 video submissions for Labor Day weekend. So that No, works. that would not be a lot of fun. I actually would like to enjoy the last long weekend of the summer. So perhaps we can get some extra you know, effort to get it in maybe a week earlier from some people. I'd appreciate that. Yeah, we don't want to overload you. I know you're a, a local business owner on top of that. So you certainly uh, relish the little time off that you can get. And uh, we certainly want to try and um, make sure we satisfy that. So that's why we encourage people to get your uh, auditions in as soon as you can. Uh, let's well, not wait the last minute. And, and it's important to note that after callbacks um, and, and people have accepted the roles that are offered, we will be starting rehearsals quickly so september 7th and then we're going to start the production um the actual rehearsals of this production will be started within a week or two at the at the at the most we want this to start moving along very quickly right. Right. there's right. there's right. singing there's dancing and and our experts in in those areas are looking forward to getting that um 
actions and 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 the and the music down. For sure. So, that up let me, point. if I could. Yeah, yeah that brings um, up. A, just a give point. some credit. To, yeah, go ahead, Nancy. Um, some of the other team members that are going to be part of a Christmas Carol. Um, this year, Alan, of course, is going to be directing, and um, we have Sue Garvey, who is going to be um, our choreographer. Um, we have Jessica Sosnowski, who is our music director. We have Sarah Berger on costumes. We have Caitlin Holbrook, who is on lighting and sound. We've got a fabulous, fabulous team of people that are really going to be working to make this come together. And we're thrilled to have um, John Elke as our video production lead because he is an award-winning cameraman. And so we've got some really first-rate people. And although we would love to be doing a live theater production in the Masonic Center, frankly, it's just not possible given the size of Christmas Carol, but by using video, we can give you a really wonderful performance that I know that we will be very proud of and it's gonna keep people safe. And that's the most important thing. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the, the level of talent and experience we've got with the crew, um, Alan himself is an award-winning uh, performer um, he's done this show a number of times. I believe it's five, if I remember correctly. Uh, you also have dipped your hat in as far as music uh, on this show. Uh, Jessica, extremely talented musician. She did the score for the show last year. Also played the role of uh, Mrs. Cratchits. Uh, Sarah, Caitlin, and John, just again, just very highly qualified and highly talented people. Um, yeah, it's a little disappointing right now that we won't be able to do it in person, but I think what we can put together based on the crew, and I'm certain we're going to get a great cast of people to perform I, this show. I think this is going to be, this is going to be a special production of A Christmas Carol. I think it's important to note though, Nick and Nancy, that we're committed to making this happen. Even um, if there's further need to pull back on what's happening in in different uh, channels of society we're still committed to making this happen we don't want uh to get halfway through this production and then and then what happened in march with several productions was they just canceled and then all the hard work of the actors and the team was for naught we want this to happen and that's the reason we're taking steps to ensure that this will be happening um on the expected time and date right and just to uh, maintain as much of uh, the safety and social distancing that we can possibly can possibly do with uh, rehearsals being done virtually as well um that are, that can be done virtually um and when we can't then we're certainly going to take every precaution that we can possibly make um right. in order to satisfy the the safety um of the performers as well, because that's certainly the last thing we want to do is jeopardize the health and safety of the people who are volunteering uh, their time and efforts uh, to be a part of this show. So that's why we're doing um, things this way for now. And hopefully uh, maybe if in a couple months, maybe things will turn in our favor. We can get people in the audience or in the house, uh, as they say in theater. But um, Again, this is just uh, everything we can possibly do to try and make provide a safe environment for our for the crew and for the cast of uh, the 2020 version of the Christmas Carol. That's it. That's what we want. Yeah, because uh, I don't know about you, but I think it would be a little weird if we weren't able to put it on it, and I think it would almost kind of put a damp um, a dampening mood on the holiday season because there was so many people look forward to it. I did it for the first time myself last year and just um, just the smiles and the atmosphere and just that it's, think it's a great kickoff to the, to the holiday season and I think in a year like this we really need something to look forward to and yeah. be positive about. And it's an important reminder of things bigger than our current situation as well. So yeah, I, I just always had a heart for Christmas Carol and um, felt blessed to be a, one of the people in Christmas Carol, and I still want to put it on this year. 
we want to make this happen. Yeah, and we're going to do everything we can to make sure we can do that. So, yes. Yeah. So I think we're running up against time here. So, okay. uh, Alan and uh, Nancy, I think we had just had to step out for a moment. So um, really appreciate the, the chance that we had today. And hopefully people got some insight in terms of uh, what we're going to do for Christmas Carol and how we plan to accomplish it. Um, get those uh, auditions in. Yes. Now on top get of that, those get, auditions get, in. get those auditions in. Cause again, we do not want to submit, get Alan 30 audition tapes uh, <laughs> on September 5th. Um, let's try and keep our director in a good mood um, before we get to tech week. <laughs> so, um, but this is going to be, this is going to be a, a different, type of uh, Christmas Carol, but I still think one, it's going to be very enjoyed um, by a large audience, and we're still going to keep together with the traditions of staging a Christmas Carol um, during this time. So um, if you do still have some questions, um, please feel free to reach out to us by sending an email uh, to info at wbtheaterco.com. Uh, we'll certainly try and get those questions answered for you as well. And also feel free to reach out to us via social media if you have any other additional questions. Uh, and again, all the information that you need to know about auditions and part, as far as procedures, monologues, sheet music, all that can be found on our website. So, Alan, thanks again. I know you're a busy guy, so um, appreciate it. And uh, in the theater terms, let's break our leg. Yeah, thank you, Nick. Thank you. Thank you, Nancy.